I had said yes to something that didn't exist. My experience with the employer and everything that followed changed entirely. 99% of people make a huge mistake. I wish I paid more attention to this one earlier on in my career, but there is something you can do. I cannot emphasize this enough. Unless you interview your interviewers well, you won't know if it's really your dream job. You won't really stand out in the interview process. Unless you interview your interviewers well, it's highly likely that you may find out too late that it was a wrong choice. And if you do end up making a wrong choice or a choice that you don't like, you can always change it. But what are some of the great questions that you can ask to both stand out in the interview and help you make the right choice to begin with? In one of my previous job interviews, I had said yes to something that didn't exist. I realized later that I was sold a completely different vision of the role than it existed in reality. Literally the second day in my new job, my mandate, my role, my experience with the employer, and everything that followed changed entirely. Now, when I look back, there were a lot of red flags during the interview process itself. I could have caught them. And obviously hindsight is always 2020, but there is something you can do to be better prepared next time. There is something you can do to stand out in the interview process. There is something you can do to understand better before saying yes. The grave mistake that I made was to not ask the right questions in the interview process. And unless it's a hell yes, it can be a big no. So how do you know it's a hell yes? Here are my top questions that you should be asking the interviewer or the hiring manager in any interview process, not only to stand out, but also to find a good match, to find your dream job. Let's dig in. Number one, can you describe a typical day and a typical week for someone in this role? So don't ask for a generic question, what is required of the role, but rather ask how they envision this role's day to day and how does a typical week look like? So why is this a great question? This question can help you understand both the day-to-day -day expectations of the role and if it aligns with your overall career goals. Additionally, it can provide you with a better understanding of the skills that are required for the role in practice. This is an essential question to ask before deciding to take on any role. By asking about a typical day and week, you can get a sense of tasks and responsibilities, what kind of workload you may need to manage, and what kind of commitment or time commitment the role requires. Additionally, it shows the interviewer that you are eager to understand the role better and not shy to take over the responsibility. Number two, what are the biggest challenges in this role? And can you share one example of them that maybe the team is currently facing? Don't ask only about the typical challenges of the role, but rather also ask to understand those challenges in the context of the team. Why is this a great question? This question can give you insight into some of the biggest challenges of the role, but also how it looks like in the context of the entire team showcasing whether it's a very silo role or also has an impact on and support from the entire team and other roles within the team. It also allows you to gain an understanding of the complexity of the role, how well it fits into the wider team, the wider picture. How are they actually managing such a challenge? How does the team dynamic work and how the work environment is in general? It also shows your interest in understanding the challenges and your proactive approach to problem solving. Number three, what would your top expectations be from me in this role? Okay, so 99% of people make a huge mistake. They ask this question, but only after they've signed the contract and once they've joined the company. Please don't do that. You need to ask this question in the interview process. Why is this a great question? Your closest manager or your hiring manager is your biggest ally. And to make sure that your closest manager or your hiring manager is indeed your biggest ally, you need to understand their motivations, their needs, and their expectations of you. This question will really help you understand whether and to what extent you'll be able to have and use your hiring manager as your closest ally. Additionally, it will not only help you clarify the responsibilities of the role, but also the goals of the role, the outcomes that's expected from the role which by the way, can be beneficial both for you as an interviewee, but also for the interviewer. Number four, can you tell me about the team I'll be working with? What kind of roles are there in the team and how is the dynamics? So the idea is not just to understand who we might be working with, but also how they fit together and integrate with each other in different roles. Now, why is this a great question? No matter which role you'll be in, even if everyone has the same title, you need to understand how these roles fit together. This question can give you an idea of the team dynamics, the personalities, 
you'll be working closely with and the kind of roles that belong to the team. Are these roles complementary? Are they exactly the same? How do they fit together? And what kind of support you can get from them? It can also give you a clearer understanding of how the team functions and how individuals within the team can contribute to the success of a common project or work towards common goals or support the entire business together. Asking this question also demonstrates your interest in working collaboratively with others, which can help you stand out in the interview process. Number five, how would my success and performance be measured in this role? It is important to know that your role is mature enough, but also provides you flexibility to grow and expand. You want to understand the growth opportunities, but also get a real feeling of whether the role is going to challenge you enough. Now, why is this a great question? This question can help you determine what is expected of you in the role in terms of progress. How can you showcase progress? Whether you have the skills and the experience necessary to succeed in the position, or what would you be needing to complement those skills with? As well as it gives you a sense of the work culture and the company's values. It can also help you gauge whether the position aligns with your career goals and objectives and gives you an insight into what growth opportunities you might have in the role. Number six. What is a company's approach to feedback and performance evaluations? Feedbacks, especially timely, honest, and kind feedbacks are absolutely important in every role. You want to understand if there's a culture that supports this kind of honest, timely, and kind feedbacks, a transparent performance evaluation, and provides growth opportunities. So why is this a great question? This question can give you an idea of the company's culture around feedback, whether or not they prioritize employee growth and development, and how employees are actually evaluated and rewarded. The answer to this question can also give you insight into the company's process for addressing any performance issues that may arise. This will help you understand if there's a possibility for growth and whether the company culture can support your long-term plans. On the other hand, it also demonstrates your interest in the company's values and practices and long-term growth opportunities for you within the company, which is a quality for any employer that they're looking for and a good way to stand out in any interview. Number seven, how does company handle flexible work arrangements? This question is not just about asking whether there's a work-life balance. If you ask that, most companies would just say yes, but rather be very specific to understand how do they really support their employees and flexible ways of working. And you also wish to showcase that you have your priorities set right. So why is this a great question? First, asking this question shows that you are proactive in considering whether the company's policies and values align with your own. But more importantly, this question can give you an idea of the company's policies on flexible work arrangements, such as telecommuting, flexible work hours, etc., and also provide an insight into what frameworks are actually in place to really support employee needs and whether they will truly be able to support your needs and provide you the flexibility that you may need in this position, in this role, from this job. It is about getting a clear understanding of not just whether, but rather how the company supports their employees in terms of various flexible working options by making them available to them. What are those? How are they made available to them? Number eight, what is the most important thing I should know before starting in this role? You want to understand the role as much as possible before you saying yes to it. The role may change over time, but it's still important to get the feel of the role as well as also show curiosity enthusiasm, and proactive understanding of the role to stand out in the interview process. Why is this a great question? This question can provide you valuable insights into the most critical aspects of the job, which can also help you hit the ground running if and when necessary. And if that's something that doesn't resonate with you, it will help you catch the red flag before committing to it. So on one hand, while it can provide you the valuable insight into the priorities of the organization and what is expected of you in this role, it can also help you clarify any uncertainties about the position or about the role that have not yet been uncovered in the interview process, allowing you another opportunity to catch any red flags. Number nine, how will you describe the company culture in three words? What are the core company values? So don't just ask this question, what is the company culture like? Is it good? Ask them rather to describe it. I wish I paid more attention to this one earlier on in my career. Today, a company culture, a good company culture is an absolute prerequisite for me to start in any new job, more than money, title, position, role, whatever. Now, why? Why is this a great question? Firstly, a company culture and values can have a significant impact on your experience, your growth, your career, your well-being. So it's extremely important to understand them 
and to help you determine if the company is a good fit for you. In fact, for this question, I would suggest that you not only just interview the interviewer or the hiring manager, but rather find other current or ex-employees that you may have contact with, or just ask directly to speak to someone else within the team and try to truly learn about their culture from within. In addition to the company culture and value having a great impact on you, on your career, on your growth, on your life in general, the information that you receive can provide you insights into the company's priorities and how they approach business as usual. This can help you better understand what to expect in terms of company policies, procedures, and the overall company atmosphere, the overall work atmosphere, the overall social atmosphere. What would my mandate be in this role? This is another really important question that many miss. You cannot succeed without building relationships. And while building relationships is important, absolutely number one prerequisite, in an extremely challenging industry like security, you also need the right band-aid to help the organizations make the right decisions. So why is this a great question? Knowing that you have the right band-aid or what kind of band-aid you even have, and combining that with your interpersonal skills, you're better postured for success. It will give you a better idea of what's already in place, what you will need to build, what help you'll need to complement your mandate with in order to be successful and whether the role really aligns with your expectations, your skill sets and your career goals. In the last seven years, I've asked more and more of these relevant questions in my interviews with the potential employer. And I just wish I had this understanding of this framework at my disposal much earlier on in my career. Now, you might not be able to ask more than three to five of these questions based on how much time you really get to ask the questions, but it's critical that you understand what is important for you what kind of company are you looking for? And based on your needs, pick the ones that can help you find a good match for you, for helping you capture any red flags already in the interview process and for helping you land your dream job. I hope these can help 10x your career and your life. I'll be back with more videos. This is Monica Talk Cyber signing off.